Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your June 18th through July 1st reading. I also buy a weekly read. I want to thank you once again for tuning in. Thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Find me on Instagram where you can ask a question. Find me on Instagram. My handles are below. Choose to fund the page. Um, go over to my website. The website is below tarotofl.com. So let's get started. The first row is love. Second is career and finance. And the third is uh, messages, additional messages of support. All right. So the first card is Virgo, right where they are in love. Five of air. Could be fighting, petty arguments, competition, getting a lot of attention. It could be indecision within yourself, just be inner conflict. Could be with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Are you on your correct path? Six of air says you might be moving away from drama, fighting, arguing, stagnation into um, a more calm, peaceful, placid way of life. Some peace and, some, and serenity. You're making strides towards your achievements. Small achievements over burdens. Could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Horizon. Your main obstacle here is justice. Could be a Libra person. If not, your main obstacle is is finding balance in this situation. It's being fair. Libra is all about fairness, just your main obstacle also could be you know legal issues, legal issues, legalities surrounding a, a love affair, a romance, love and romance here. Enlightenment will come and, and spirit is helping here. It's an 11 card. It's definitely um, if you can't enact this balance, this justice for yourself, spirit will come in and do that. And this is your obstacle is that you're in a situation that is just not fair. Some things have been put on you. You've taken ownership of them because you didn't have anywhere else to go outside of uh, this particular issue, this particular person. They got you wrapped up in something and now you, you've taken ownership of it and you won't let go, even though it's not fair. What's helping you? The two of water, uh, a successful relationship, a mutually beneficial relationship. This could be love for self too. Finding love for oneself. Um, it could be someone external to you that you have love with, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in your chart. Hmm. There might be hesitation and indecision to move forward in regards to um, solidifying a relationship here by way of uh, legal matters, getting married, getting engaged, definitely getting married. There, there are questions, there's indecision. Someone isn't 100% sure. How can progress be made? Page of water. loving messages you want to reignite the flame the love the balance you guys need to speak to each other lovingly there is no emotional loving messages here there's pettiness there's argument there's frustration at the bottom of the deck is the three of water. Um, there might be a need, not a need, there might be um, an opportunity to celebrate or to have reconciliation. Maybe with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We got a lot of water here. Hmm. 
Let's see. Transformation under that. Yeah, you can transform this by way of bringing the love back by loving messages. Yeah. This could be with a yeah, like I said, with a water sign. We got Libra here. We got fire, air, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. We've got air. We've got everybody, right? Hmm. Okay. So, career and finance. King of Cups is right where you are. You're emotionally content with the work that you do. Or in the work that you, the line of work you do, you have to stay, you have to stay in control. You have to keep your, your emotions in, con, in control. This job is taxing. It can move you in a direction of um, stirring your emotions for the worse. So you're the king of cups there. And that, and that looks, I mean, that's really good if, if that speaks to you. Are you on your right path? The six of cups. Uh, you're looking back at a situation you have a nostalgic thoughts of the past of maybe when you were in school maybe when you used to think about what you would do for a living you're having nostalgic thoughts of maybe another job that was completely fulfilling the memories of okay two six cards I mean there's balance here you find finding balance in it all I think by just living in your head in it not actually moving away from or doing anything but just living in your emotions and in your head the six of air and the six of cup your obstacle is a five of cups Yeah, your obstacle here and work is maybe you're in a situation that just no longer fulfills you, but you're staying in it. You won't, you're hesitating before making the decision, before cutting something out. Um, because there's something that suits you better. This could also be looked at as love, you know, like. You find content, you found contentment. If that's good enough for you, that's good enough for you. This generation, this society has deemed the word contentment as a bad word. It is not. Some people, you know, can live in contentment. When are you ever content? So you have to ask yourself that question. Okay. Um... What's helping you to hire a fin? This could be Taurus. If not Taurus, you're trying to get under some regimen. Some regimen uh, in regards to your work, your career. You, you might even be going back to school, getting more schooling. You might be going to classes in regards to your work. At work, there might be an opportunity to learn more within the work setting you might work for a larger uh, company corporation firm you're finding solace in in rule and regimen these these men are learning from the higher firm. Hmm. Okay. How can progress be made? These two cards came out. Nine of Pentacle, Knight of Sword. These two people are going in two opposite directions. They could be face cards. Not necessarily are. People cards, what I meant. Well, 
when I see you, this is it's almost like you're claiming your independence, a way of getting your truth, your clarity, or someone is doing this with you, Virgo. They've learned of something and now they've come to confront you with it. It could be that they know that maybe you were keeping options open. This could be in work, working, you know, this is work. This is career and finance. It could be in love too. Someone found out you keeping options open. Um, you were more so investing in yourself than I guess being a team player. Someone's highly confrontational with you. They can have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart at the bottom of the deck, the full card. I think, yeah, what you're doing is trying to move away from. Because you're, you're gaining spiritual awareness and clarity about what path you need to take. And um, you're willing to start over. All right, motivation. Everybody's getting motivation. Is the additional advice card it's pretty self-explanatory? Be motivated to put the work in on self. Um, perfect your craft. Uh, take advantage of any opportunity that is put in front of you. Welcome the new. Yeah. I in the new, the, the full card. I think for some of you, the new is could be a new way of, of doing your job, a promotion, um, moving to another company. Somebody's keeping options open here. End of an era. Yeah, it's like for some of you, it's the end of the of a relationship. Some of you, it's the end of. A career, a way of doing something. It. You're thinking back to when you first started in this career path. It wasn't as taxing. It wasn't as hectic. It wasn't as stressful. Sentimental feelings. Yeah, maybe that's why the Five of Cups is here. It's, it's bittersweet. You know, you've learned a lot, but you've also, you're burned out, in a sense. And I think you're taking your pinnacles and you're moving on. Whatever the new is for you. If this resonated with you, Virgo, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Request a personal reading so that we can expound on the energy that's just for you. Um, thank you for tuning in once again. All information of how to reach me is below. Okay. Remember, Virgo, when in doubt, pray. I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care.